All right, so I'm gonna to try to go over some features of the truck in this video. Um, let's see, the door's pretty standard. Uh, the, um, on the inside of the truck, you'll notice that I've got the RAM mount set up. Um, I have an iPad, I usually, uh, which will be included with the sale. Um, there's no discount if you don't want it. It just comes with the truck. Um, there's the inReach. Um, which does not come with the sale because uh, I've already sold it. And, uh, and then a RAM mount, and you can put whatever mounts you want up there. There are a ton of mounting options up there. That's an aftermarket mount. Uh, if you go down, you see the Alpine Halo 9 head unit. You can actually um, control all of the uh, accessories through that if you want to. I find it easier just to use the uh, S-Pod switches down here. Um, Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, over here in the armrest is a locker down um, extreme um, uh, safe, combination safe. So you can keep your valuables in there. Um, I travel a lot in the middle of nowhere, so I keep stuff in there that uh, I might need handy, uh, but don't want other people to have access to. Um, this is uh, a RAM mount that I used for two things. I used it flat for uh, a 13 inch MacBook Pro and I used it like you see here for a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This thing is fantastic for when you're going down the road and your arm is resting on the armrest and you need to tap in some things to, to figure out where you are or where you're going. Uh, I usually keep, so I usually keep uh, either the radar, weather radar up here, um, or uh, terrain. Uh, here I'll keep the on-road, you know, through, it has a uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I have it set up for CarPlay since I have an Apple device. All you gotta do is switch out this cable if you have an Android device. Uh, and that will, and then you just put your phone there, which I'm using now, so that's why it's not up there. Um, all right, so uh, up here we've got, um, uh, Blue Ridge Overland um, uh, visor mounts, um, signature that comes on all of the 2015 Expedition Overland trucks. Uh, we got a headrest mount here on both the headrests. Um, moving around to the back, this does come with a an awesome Scepter water can. This is literally the only water can that doesn't leak on the market, uh, mainly because it's not a USA spec one, um, which has to have a hole for uh, air, which makes it not waterproof. Um, and then you've got a, a Blue Ridge Overland um, gear back that you can put just about anything on there. I've got a silky saw on there and an umbrella right now. This does come with the MyMedic uh, MyFac uh, first aid kit. It has never been used, uh, so everything is still in it. Um, comes with the Blue Ridge Overland Attic. I keep up here, I keep, um, these are window shades for each of the windows are custom window cutouts. There's, uh, it's reflective on one side and black on the other. Uh, going from place to place, I end up in parking lots overnight, uh, probably one out of four nights. Uh, so that keeps people from looking in. I've also tinted all of the rear windows with limo tint. Um, also up here are window socks. Uh, so in the summer, you can keep your windows rolled down, still have privacy, and put the sock over the entire door, uh, top of the door, and, uh, and that gives you privacy. Uh, I've got a, uh, back here we've got a Rego um, uh, Molly mount um, that you can put stuff on. I had several things on there, uh, including a, a machete and a knife and uh, a roll of um, towels. And I'll throw those magnetic towel holders in as well. So uh, going down here, we've got the um, uh, the Arb air compressor, um, and this is the back of the fridge and stove. You can see that there's a ton of storage. I've taken the 40% uh, uh, side uh, seat out. Um, because I was traveling for four to six weeks at a time and needed the extra cargo space. Um, up here you can see the mattress. It's a four inch mattress that I hadn't made for the um, platform, the Goose Care platform. 
Um, and then there you can see the back of uh, one of the headrest mounts. Okay, so moving on back. If we look in the back here, now this is where your stove and your fridge is gonna be. So let's see if we can do this elegantly, not do it elegantly, so we are back. And this is what it looks like when everything is out. Um, you've got uh, two Wavian gas cans, those are the nice ones. Uh, it's a brand new uh, high lift uh, jack uh, that I replaced. The other one had some rust on it. The, um, the back, the, the entire rear bumper has been repowder coated as has the armor underneath, which I will show you tomorrow because I'm getting a, a new exhaust put on this. I looked underneath and um, the muffler had a dent in it. And you know what, like I, I keep this thing pristine and I didn't want to sell it with a dent in the muffler. So I, I bought a, a new um, Borla muffler that's over there that I'm getting installed tomorrow. And so I'll get some under underside shots of it tomorrow. Um, in this drawer, all this stuff comes with it. This is your propane tank, a uh, five pound propane tank. It, there's a hose, a very special hose that you have to get from um, Cook Partner. Uh, they're the only ones that make these hoses. Uh, I looked and looked and called them and they said, oh yeah, well we have a special regulator that we put on it. So this is a 12 foot Cook Partner stove hose. So you're prepared to go with that. Um, my first two trips out, I did not have one. So I used a little portable stove. Um, this comes with it, all your air tools, um, that's going to include your deflator. Um, recovery tools all come with it. There are, there's bubble rope in there. There is uh, a tree strap, bubble rope, a tree strap, two soft shackles, uh, maybe something else. I, I don't think so though. Um, and then the hand tools pouch, I, not including my tools, you have to provide your own tools, but um, but it does come it, inside as uh, several pockets uh, that are removable. You can pull out your tools, which is really nice. And all those are Blue Ridge Overland. Uh, the shelf. Um, oh, and the the bed. So this bed is super comfortable. I have spent about 60 nights on it. Maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Um, but it is super comfortable. It may look cramped, but like there's plenty of headroom. And, um, and I've just, I'm, I'm just, uh, I've just loved it. I, I, I really thought that it was going to be too small for me, but I have sort of perfected the crawl over. You lean the driver's seat back, uh, when you pull over and you can just sort of slip back into the, into the bed here. Um, uh, over here, I forgot to mention, close this up real quick. Over here is... Uh, is going to be your 1000 watt inverter uh, so you can plug whatever you want in there coffee maker or whatever um, this is 30 feet of uh, solar uh, cable so you can hook under you can park your car in the shade uh, park the truck in the shade and then uh, and then right behind that you can barely see is a is a fold up 100 watt solar panel so you can uh, park your truck in the shade uh, put your cable out and put the put the solar panel out in the sun so you can stay cool and still charge your vehicle at the same time. Um, <clears throat> all of the inter in, uh, interior LEDs uh, lights have been replaced with LEDs. Um, this is uh, the Fisker's uh, axe and a shovel, stainless steel shovel, um, both very nice. Um, you can see that there's a ton of storage room in here. Um, and, uh, and I usually keep, uh, two, uh, big things of, uh, dried food or, or that sort of thing there, the water, and then my backpacking gear on the other side, cause I do a lot of backpacking. And then back to the front, um, let's see, uh, oh, in the glove compartment. So in the glove compartment, I keep, um, uh, I keep a third battery just in case uh, all hell breaks loose because I travel by myself uh, and so I just like redundancy um, and then all of your equipment over here uh, Blue Ridge Overland panels uh, and then as we move around back to the front the Safari snorkel um, 
and I want to show you the uh, the engine really quickly. So the engine, uh, very good condition. It um, runs flawlessly. It is, it's, you know, perfect. Um, uh, I have it serviced by Toyota. Um, I have all the oil changes done at Toyota. Um, and so, you know, it's all in very good shape. Uh, tomorrow, uh, oh, the lights. So the headlights have all been uh, replaced with HIDs. Uh, from uh, Headlight Revolution. The Toyota 4Runner stock headlights are really dim. And uh, and these are both 55 watt, but the low and high beam. Uh, super bright, but they've been adjusted, so I don't get on any oncoming flashes from other people, uh, but I can totally see everything. Um, and then, of course, the worn winch behind the uh, bumper, a 30-inch light bar back there as well. Um, and, uh, and I redid the front so that it was a little bit uh, even better uh, uh, cut out than, uh, than when I bought it. And then, of course, I got uh, Gear America shackles. Um, and then a 40-inch, sorry, 40-inch light bar, bar uh, there on the top. All of the lights are rigid. Um, and you've got uh, your Max Tracks up there, your K9, uh, your K9 roof rack um, and then a an easy on uh, 1000 series awning I wanted an awning that I could take out it's a, it's a hard-sided awning which is really nice I didn't want the soft sided I think they're kind of sloppy um, but this one um, I can do by myself uh, I can take it out with one person the one that has a spring that they make a 2000 series but it's got a it's, it's a really a two-person job so uh, this one worked out really well for me um, all right, so and then we've got here uh, the aftermarket, um, all of the aftermarket uh, fender flares um, and the aftermarket wheels, the SES wheels, which I love, and, and then the big brake kit uh, on the front and back. Um, there are definitely a couple spots like this one here. Uh, where the paint has come off. Uh, I mean, it was an off-road truck, so you can see in some spots that, you know, this is all plastic, this front, uh, so it's, it's not going to rust. Um, but like here. Uh, and, uh, but overall, the paint is in excellent shape. Um, and uh, the spare tire, just to get us a sense of what that looks like. Uh, the, the red uh, calipers are on the front and back. Um, and there was one more thing. Oh, I, um, so I, when I was reworking the bumper, I put on a trailer hitch. I pulled a trailer for about 3,500 miles. Um, it was an off-road Colorado teardrop uh, that I had modified. Uh, I ended up selling that, and so uh, I didn't use it. I only used it on that one trip. Um, I guess that's about it. Oh, there's one spot back here. So this little black line. When I had taken the bumper off, somebody, uh, to get it repowder coated somebody rubbed against this. Now this is plastic, so it's not going to rust again. Uh, but it did take the line of paint off there. I guess that's it. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to know. Uh, thanks.